Hello Dolphins, this is Victoria and I'm here with a daily energy check. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Kay Beach in the Big Island of Hawaii. So this recording is actually going to come out on my birthday and um, even though I'm recording this on the eve of, uh, I feel great, I feel amazing and I hope that some of that energy will transport to you guys. Uh, regardless of where you're on the journey, you're actively in a connect, working on a connection with your uh, twin flame or you're pursuing something on your own, uh, this is a message of support, cheer and aloha, which is a Hawaiian word that encompasses so many things, but the main concept is the concept of love, right? It's love, it's hospitality, it's goodwill, um, yeah! You know, goodwill and uh, wishing, wishings of uh, luck and abundance. So let's get started today. I do not have an oracle deck with me, so we'll go straight into the messages. And I actually want to see um, what's happening with each of the plans. So we'll use the main deck for that, the energy check, and then the other deck will be used. My witch's tower deck is going to be used for. Um, seeing what is the next big threat, right? What to look forward to. And then, of course, we'll get some messages between the twins because we we'll love them so much. Okay, let's get started. And the first, at first, we're going to see what's going on with Ryan and his I don't know yet if we're going to be uh, publishing something for the weekend because we're we're gonna be on the road again, so I might skip either one or maybe both days, we'll see. But hopefully it's still gonna be on. Something happened with uh, my views recently, so yeah, I'm thinking of maybe reducing uh, the videos that I do to like maybe five a week, maybe four a week, They're like these free public readings. Uh, maybe I'll use the time that I normally use for these videos to create more blog articles or more webinars and workshops um, so it's more educational maybe it will benefit you guys more because uh, so I'm starting to see that there is less interest in the readings and um, of course if you are interested in the readings please don't forget to like share subscribe it really helps me uh, spread the word and uh, keep this going Got eight of swords, six of cups. Wow, what what are the different like how more much more different could this be, right? <laughs> so uh, yeah, this one card this card fell first, fell out first. So what I would say immediately is divine feminine is in this hot and cold area where internally, internally, not even with other people it could be, but most importantly internally where there's simultaneously this energy of feeling trapped, of feeling like you have a lot to deal with right now and you're not able to do it well, right? And it's a feeling. Remember, Eight of Swords is what's in your hand. That's what the Spirit is trying to tell you, right? You can get out of it easily. Uh, well, maybe not easily, but you know, you can't. You are able to. There is no trap. There is no, um, you know, stuckness here for real. It's in your head. but. At the same time, simultaneously, you can dive into this wonderful, pure, loving uh, Six of Cups energy that uh, basically consists of love, you know, that love bubble, that uh, feeling of just being on cloud nine and loving the whole world. And it's interesting because it does uh, help you move on with your day, with your life, you know, for a while it holds you, it um, fills you up with the energy you need, with the enthusiasm that you need to carry on with your day. But if you do not deal with this thing, it just lingers there, it stays, it doesn't leave, right? So you're almost like, it's a much more elevated way of dragging yourself, really, right? Or using some sort of uh, open mechanism to deal with, I mean, it is kind of, right? Uh, to deal with uh, certain things, certain patterns, Certain situations that you're not able to deal with yet, 
and maybe you are not able to but just admit that you know accept that that this is happening in your life that you are overthinking or you're hurting too much for my goal you are feeling stuck there right put a pin on it ask the universe to give you a sign or an answer on how to proceed don't just leave it hanging this is gonna be eating that will feed off your energy and diminishing your power your potential and the things that you can do with your life what we have for divine masculines i've got the strength card a good start and the magician nice it's a little windy today but and a little wavy if you can tell by the ocean but making the best out of it as always and i hope you like this location uh, i absolutely love it and i'm so glad that i was able to get away here uh, this week because i'm only in this area for a week this time and this is like the only the only uh, time I was able to, to get here and then in a couple of days I'm leaving again for another week right and then I only have one week left on the island sorry guys my cards keep flying away uh, what do I do what do I do let's try this anyways two key cast major arcanas the strength and the magician look at that I mean divine masculines are writing it you know proudly wearing it proudly with the new moon that we just had and the eclipse it's like oh yeah baby i got this i got this right both of them are very masculine energy the air and fire and you know those are the uh elements of the masculine energy right and they are all about going and getting it like manifesting it staying strong and doing it just doing it going for it and doing it and those events that i just mentioned they kind of uh they almost like added that extra adrenaline and extra rush uh to the blood <laughs> to uh divine masculine brain uh so that they're able to kind of like take a confident action and for a lot of them it's new actions to change their life into a better direction to change their life into pursuing what they are after what they really need and want right creating the life rather than having to deal with life and that's a huge huge deal it may seem like it's not very good also notice the colors uh there's a definitely the like you know there's a lot of red and uh, orange in both of them which are also masculine chakras this is the root and the sacral chakra which means that this is where you know this is the foundation of the masculine energy right it's that baseline with which is the strength part really right with that uh, grounded energy rooted energy of like yes i'm standing confidently on my two feet and then of course the sacral is about like expressing myself it's about being me it's about going for my passions and desires and that you can take both figuratively physically and uh from a creative standpoint right beautiful i love it it's almost like they're drunk with this adrenaline power again wow okay let's see what's coming up for divine feminines what do we need to get excited about? I'm sorry, it flew away and I have to pick it up. I also twisted my ankle, so uh, yeah, I'm a little clumsy moving right now. Knight of Pentacles. We'll get some more, please clarify. And the Ace of Wands. Wow. Yeah, so there is somebody coming in with a lot of desire for divine feminine. Could be a soulmate, could be a twin, of course. <sighs> somebody who is not gonna be super quick, super like rushed in, right? But somebody who is gonna uh, consider what they do, how they do, and why they do it. I'm just watching another card that flew away, but I'll hopefully it will stay there. Because I don't want to interrupt the flow. 
right? So there is a lot of passion in this person, but they're gonna come in as a Knight of Pentacles. So it's gonna be, they could even come in as a friend or as a uh, colleague, a business partner, you know, like kind of like keeping it casual, kind of like, yeah, 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 but be sure that they are checking you out. They are paying attention to every single thing because they do have a lot of attraction, right? And the Knight of Pentacles, if you think about it, it's not even, it's not that bad of an energy, you know, like it is like, He's slow, he's um, a little bit overcautious, I would say, right? It's that kind of energy, but at the same time, it's somebody who goes for the long run, right? They don't want this to kind of, for the passion to burn out quickly, to just kind of ignite and burn out like a match. No, they want this to last, they want something real. And they want in, in this connection, they want more than just the sexual drive. There's a lot of sexual drive here but they want more. Beautiful. So a little hint to see who's coming into your life. And even if they're doing work with you, there may be a lot more to it than that. Okay, for the masculines, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Knight of Wands. Look at that, and here it's the Knight of Wands. So divine masculines are actually seeing themselves as like this passionate i don't say man but yeah being right it doesn't have to be a man passionate being that's just going for what they want in life but there is a like they are normally relying a lot on uh you know external circumstances and certain signs certain synchronicities do they see them or not is it working out or not like a lot of reliability are relying on um, someone else or just generally you know the universe divine on making it work and it's like if uh, it's not really working out magically then I'm not gonna pursue it and in this case divine masculines are asked to actually for this particular uh, venture whatever it's going to be that project that relationship whatever new is around the corner they are asked to actually use their own potential their own discernment their own power and resources without relying too much on divine orchestration or the universe helping them out right it doesn't mean that it's not going to be any help but maybe it's not going to be as obvious and you know that's going to be kind of pushing the masculine to trust themselves more to believe in themselves and to be able to be the master of their life and again to this is like that practical implementation of the magician and the strength you know where they are creating they are the creators all right messages between the twins first messages from divine masculine to divine feminine already like in terms of intention and desire they are definitely there right in terms of actually doing something about it they're saying i need more time so i would say energetically and we just saw that they are already in that manifestation um space but from 3d standpoint they're still catching up to that right there's still a bit of that fear a bit of that doubt like am i ready is it gonna be good enough have i dealt with certain things is it time you know and that's actually i'm getting for a lot of them that's gonna be the part that they're gonna have to deal with by themselves without much help from the divine uh you know what they have to be in that night of one's power that somebody who's gonna go for their passion and desire which is in this case it's the twinkling connection without waiting for some magical sign or everything just working out by itself okay messages from the f to the M's. i'm 
getting pretty hot here, so I'm definitely going for a swim after. After I say goodbye to you guys. That's my motivation for the reading. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I love this. And doing them in nature is always so much better. The energy is so much more flowy. And look at that. We have like all the elements here. We have water, we have earth, we have sun, which is fire. And of course we have the wind, which is the air. Beautiful. I'm too afraid to talk to you. I just wish things were different. And what do you want? Yeah, so with the feminine, especially because she's in the in that eight of swords vibe, right? When she dives into the self-doubt and self-sabotage and all these questions here right and the six of cups is good to float in but it's not enough right now to be able to find confidence in what's actually going to be happening in real life right it's more about like mm, wishful thinking or yeah my feelings and emotions how do i transform that into actually something tangible in my life right so we can build on it yeah, give it time, give it time, I would say. Yeah, right now there is some doubt, there is still wishful thinking, right? But some fear that things are not gonna go very well, that the feminine will be misunderstood, either because of the past events or because of, because it's difficult to describe the current situation. You know, like it's not something that you come across every day, so it may not be easy to describe. Especially as we're entering the Mercury retrograde, uh, it's uh, yeah it may feel like that you know actually as I'm wearing my lapis lazuli today which is uh, a good stone to work on the uh, throat chakra yeah I'm just getting a hint that it might be good to do some sort of a practice or ritual to uh, kind of uh, refresh or do a little bit of a cleansing of a root over throat chakra so that you especially for feminines of course so that you don't feel as uh, tongue-tied, you know, you don't have that fear of speaking out how you feel, uh, what is going on, and how you see the future even. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I love you all, and I'll be back tomorrow very soon. Bye, everyone.